Hi everyone and welcome to this month's Boardroom Recap. I'm Ashley Alvarez and I'm excited to share updates with you from the July 18th regular monthly school board meeting. We are in high gear getting ready to welcome students back to school for the 2024-25 school year. From maintenance to technology, curriculum writers to campus and district administration, we cannot wait until students are back walking through the halls and in classrooms. This board meeting kicked off with public testimony and open forum. This is where our community members get the chance to share their thoughts and concerns directly with the board. We did have public testimony. We moved on to the full slate of information items. Chief Appraiser Carrie Wickliffe provided information to the board regarding the Victoria Central Appraisal District relocation. The current VCAD facility lease will expire in 2026 and they have reached capacity at that location. This was presented to the VISD Board of Trustees because all taxing entities would be required to fund a portion of the annual payment. VISD's portion of the current annual payment is $64,970.09. Of the options presented, VISD's portion of their annual payment could increase anywhere from $366,930.34 to $529,259.89. Director of Student Services Don Maroney and Executive Director of Secondary Jake Salcinas shared information about the 2024-25 Attendance Improvement Initiatives. VISD is currently seeing a strong connection between student attendance and student achievement numbers. As a result, a dedicated team of campus and district leaders have come together to put forth some attendance pilot initiatives for this next school year. These initiatives will be implemented at each high school to help deter chronic absenteeism. Some key highlights of this pilot are impacts on admin approval for juniors and seniors, participation in extracurricular activities and events, and reinforcing the use of principal plans to encourage student attendance. Maintenance Director Leonard Gonzalez presented the first state of facilities for VISD. Mr. Gonzalez shared key areas where improvements are being made and answered questions the board had regarding the information shared and the additional information provided in the admin report. The state of the district regarding facilities maintenance really captured those areas where significant improvements or adjustments are being made to improve efficiency across all maintenance crafts and skill areas. CFO Michelle Yates presented the second 2024-25 budget workshop, which reflects a larger portion of the budget being used for payroll as the pay increases from version one of the compensation plan approved in May are now reflected. The challenge of using the remaining funds for everything else is significant. The budget is designed to protect fixed costs like insurance and school safety, while departments may see an across the board cut to their discretionary budget allowances. The curriculum, instruction and accountability team presented a star and state accountability refresher. State accountability ratings are scheduled for release in August 2024. The board was provided a broad overview of changes to the STAR assessment and the state accountability system. Additionally, data trends from both the state and the district were shared along with strategies for addressing areas of need and planning success in 2024-2025. Lastly, Interim Superintendent Randy Meyer shared information from the July Administration Report, specifically highlighting the final industry-based certifications earned for the 2023-24 school year. And if you're wondering how many, it's 1,134 IBCs. We are BISD proud of these students. Mr. Meyer also shared our focus challenge, Early Childhood Literacy. Next, the board moved to action items. The board considered nominations for the Victoria Central Appraisal District Board of Directors. The board then discussed and took action on the resolution to nominate Dr. John McNeil for the Victoria Central Appraisal District Board of Directors for the remainder of the 2023-24 term. This vacancy exists due to the resignation of Jody Sandoval, the representative for BISD. This vacancy election will be to fill the unexpired term, which will end on December 31st, 2024. 
According to the code, each voting entity may nominate one candidate to fill this vacancy by submitting the name of our candidate to Carrie Wickliffe, Chief Appraiser of the Victoria Central Appraisal District within 45 days of the nomination. The board discussed and approved TASB Policy Update 123. This contains revisions of existing policies, including policy additions and deletions. And these policies are listed in the July administration report if you'd like to check them out. The board discussed and took action to endorse trustee Margaret Pruitt for the TASB Board of Directors. And the board took action to approve the consent agenda. After wrapping up the public portion of the meeting, the board moved into a closed session to address confidential matters. They later reconvened to consider and take action to employ personnel. Online student registration for the 2024-25 school year is still happening. Parents and guardians of current VISD students and new to VISD students visit visd.net forward slash registration to complete registration. And to stay up to date on the superintendent search process, visit visd.net forward slash superintendent search. This page is regularly updated as the board progresses through the superintendent search. And that wraps up another productive regular monthly board meeting. Make sure you stay tuned for more updates and achievements as we officially start the 2024-25 school year. Remember, if you can't make the VISD school board meetings in person, you can always watch live via the VISD website. Visit visd.net and right under the rotating banner, you'll see school board meetings. Click that button and select watch live. And if you can't watch live, that's what we're here for. Make sure you're following Victoria ISD on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, and subscribe to Victoria ISD on YouTube.